Soft Time Diamond Edition allows you to track employee absences with a simple click of the mouse. It automates accrual, allowance, and carryover calculations and offers a multitude of useful reports. This software can be accessed by one or many users, all simultaneously. There's no limit to the amount of history this software can contain. I can go back weeks, months, or years. The interface is very easy to use. Here's your list of available departments. Here's the department roster. Your absence categories, which are completely customizable. Then you have tools like the deletion tool, the adjustment tool, note-taking pencil. Notes are saved forever in history. The point occurrence tracking tool. And much, much more. You've got tab navigation, month at a glance, year at a glance. Perfect for spotting trends. So-and-so has a bad habit of being late every Monday morning. The day tab zooms up on a day, so I can potentially break a day down into multiple category leave if necessary. There you have it. And here we have the employee information tab. This contains the employee's basic information like their first name, last name, middle name, birth date, hire date, department, employee numbers, badge numbers, payroll numbers, miscellaneous notes, shift information, finally security settings. Notice employee information pertains to every employee and each and every employee can have their own level of security, specifically with their own username and password. Craig Mills. Craig is an employee level access. He can log in, see his own information, can't change anything, but he can request days off and see the company-wide holidays. Kathy will make administrator level over one department or more with different levels of access over different departments, perhaps. Super administrators can make major global configuration changes typically designed for setup. Most configurations and settings are performed under the tools menu. Things like startup settings where you can delegate how an employee earns their time off. The holiday editor. Company-wide holidays. User-defined icons where you can get creative. Put your own picture on the buttons rename the categories and events departments setting up departments is easy create a department give it a name give it a description for reporting capabilities later and if you like you can associate a startup setting with a particular department point categories very dynamic create a category give it a name give it a value a duration type details, and you're done. Super administrator options, major global configuration changes here. Workstation options, customize the workstation settings per the individual based on preference. Email configurations, leave approval screen. These are leave requests that are in the queue that as a manager I really need to attend to. They include requested days off, dates and times, notes, comments, conflicts with, as an administrator, I can see details on the conflicts, who the conflict is with, what type of leave, potentially what department it's in. I can adjust the scope of the conflict check to just show me people in that department or company-wide as an administrator. 
Ultimately, I can approve the request. Approving this request will send an email back to the employee letting him know the results. It also puts the event on the calendar and deducts from his balances. Denying the request with potential notes sends an email back to the employee denying the request. Or I can send it back as a redraft. I'd love to give you the day off, but I sure could use you in the morning. Would you mind making it the afternoon or pick a different day? So this is a submission and approval process. Softime also has a large amount of employee reports, department reports, miscellaneous, and point reports. Reports can be run by employees or by the department. It features an teletype interface with shift clicks, control clicks, date ranges, plenty of options here. And you can print, preview, email, batch email, send to multiple people an email all at the same time containing the same report, HTML, and that's a nice looking report. Thank you.